Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki, known here as the One-Handed Bandit. And today I would like to give you some of my recommendations for the Sephora VIP sale. And these are all items that I personally use myself. So the only way that I can recommend them is if I've actually tried them out myself. So starting with setting sprays, I have two. The first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I love this setting spray. It just keeps your makeup in place for hours and hours at a time. So I do recommend this setting spray. And the next one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the Dewy Set Setting Spray. Now don't let the bottle confuse you. It does not have glitter in it. But it is a dewy setting spray and I love the way that my makeup looks glowy. It looks refreshed. I look hydrated. So I personally love this setting spray. I love the finish of this. So definitely put that in your cart. I only recommend one foundation because uh, this is the only foundation that I have been using for months and months and months. And that is the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. I have quite a few Fenty items because I am loving pretty much all of their products. So I do recommend this foundation as well as their primer. This is the primer. And I do recommend using the two of them together. I sometimes switch out primers. So um, the other primer that I sometimes wear with it, which is what I'm wearing, I'm using the foundation and I'm also using this No Pore Blem Primer by Touch and Soul. So I, use, I alternate between the two of those primers. So I do recommend those three products. For a skincare, I only have maybe two items that I can recommend for skincare and what I have been using is the Clinique ID moisturizer and it is the hydrating jelly. I have the cartridge inside which is the white one which is for uh, hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone. They have different ones based on your skincare needs. If you need something to minimize pores, if you need something for wrinkles, if you need something to um, just to hydrate your skin. And even if you don't like this clear one, they also have the yellow one, which is also hydrating as well. And if you do have oily skin, you do need hydration on your skin also. And then another thing that I also recommend is this set by Ole Hen Henriksen. So I do recommend these two skincare products from Ole Henriksen. This, the smaller one is the Banana Eye Cream, the Bright Eye Eye Cream. And that is the one that I use under my eye before I add my primer. And I just let it sit and marinate into my skin before I do my primer. And also throughout the, during the day, I use this uh, Bright C, what is this, Bright Rush Brightening Gel Cream, and I use this as a moisturizer as well. So those are the only two things that I have for uh, skincare, and the rest of the products that I have are just pretty much, you know, some of the most uh, popular products that everyone is using. Um, I have this trio by Pat McGrath. I also did a video on this trio that she has the Eye Ecstasy Kit. And it comes in this little bag. And you receive three products. You receive this small eye palette as well as a pigment and a sample of her Fetish Eye Mascara. And these eyeshadows are very, very rich and creamy. They're very good for everyday eye looks. And I'll just show you some of the shades. I'm sure you've probably seen them around. 
but these are the six shades that you receive in that kit and another palette that i do recommend is also the anastasia beverly hills palette the riviera palette and this is the palette that i am also wearing on my eyes um the lid color is the one that I'm wearing on my eye as well as the inner corner highlight and this is what that palette looks like and as you can see I get a lot of use out of this palette this is one of my most favorite Anastasia palettes and I, I truly love this palette I'm using it almost every single day the next two products that I recommend are from Fenty Beauty and they are their Sunstalker bronzers. I have Coco Naughty and Caramel Cutie. I personally like Coco Naughty better than Caramel Cutie. I think Caramel Cutie is a little more cool toned while this Coco Naughty is more warm toned. And I do have Coco Naughty hair on my cheeks. So I am definitely loving those. I do recommend those. And then I also, of course, recommend the Fenty Beauty uh, Kilowatt in Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. And this is that highlighter. As well as the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder, which I have in the shade Honey, which is what I'm wearing under my eyes as well and from Anastasia Beverly Hills oh I cannot forget these two highlighters these are loose highlighters I have the two in the shade so Hollywood and Sunset Aurora she has a third one out which is called snowflake and that one is I believe it's a silver one and I didn't think that that would work with my skin tone so I didn't pick that one up but she does have uh, three of these highlighters and I'm also wearing So Hollywood on my face today and I will leave a link to the video that I've recorded with this face look down below in my description box and the highlighter that I'm using is the gold one So Hollywood. And the other two products that I have are from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Fenty Beauty. I love the Fenty Beauty uh, liner. I also use that to line my eyes as well as the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. I don't know where the rest of the clip went, but I do recommend the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. That is what I use for my simple everyday looks. I just brush it through my brows and go. But that is it. Thank you all for uh, clicking on this video. I have been having some tech technical issues behind the scenes. But I do appreciate you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.